hello and welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 31 and we're going to start off with our daily deliveries including our first delivery of soya drinks. That factory produces pretty quickly. So we've got a full load and I think we've still got some just about another full load to collect as well which we will do during the course of the deliveries. So we've got what 12,000 litres of soy drink to go down to the town. This will be the first deliveries. So I'm pretty sure the town folk are pretty, I was going to say pretty anxious, but I'm sure not pretty inquisitive about the product. It doesn't bring huge money, but it does produce quickly. So you get quite a bit of it. We still haven't got the the vegan soya products going just yet. That'll be sorted out in towards the end of this episode. Uh, the production of that is much much slower but then the the returns are a bit more. So they each litre sells for quite a bit more. Well, there we go, our first delivery, and that wasn't too bad. It's pretty much in line with uh, the greenhouses, except it produces pretty, well, quite a bit quicker than the greenhouses. So this is our second load. Pretty much a day's production. We're getting two full loads, I think. Well, it won't be quite a full load, but it'll be close to a full load. There we go strap that in and see we'll probably be able to get a couple more bits and pieces no that is another full load so that's good we'll get that back down to the the town and get that delivered get it sold so we, we pretty much looks like we're going to be getting as long as we keep the um, the factory stocked with soya and water uh, we'll be getting two loads a month a gameplay day but a month in uh, in reality as such well in game reality <laughs> uh, you know what I mean you know what I mean Got to get these fields uh, ploughed up and as we drive down on the right hand side you can see the new mega field that we are making for soya production. I think I did show you the start of that probably in the last episode or the episode before. It's going to take a while but it's going to be one big mega field and over the next couple of months just we'll be getting that ready and the other field re fields ready for it's probably going to be a lot of soya production. We have a lot of uh, barley and wheat in the fields at the moment which will keep our chickens and our um, bakery going. So yeah, we're starting to get there in terms of our basic productions. There's still a couple of things we can look at. We'll do that once we've got the, the soya operation up and running. Yeah, so another 8,000 there. So about 15 to 17,000 I would imagine per, per month from that operation. Not to be scoffed at. Especially once we've got our own, our own production. Right, so the mushrooms, we're just going to show you the deliveries of the others we've seen, the collection and delivery. i just like to show the delivery just to see, let you know where the money's coming from. So that's a, a good little whack there. And then we'll go up and um, pick up the flowers and get those delivered. There we go, flower delivery. And we're getting a better price from the... Uh, 
from the farmers market for the flowers from the town farmers market as opposed to the shop farmers market the the co-op farm, farmers market if you want to call it that we just picked up all our fruits from the pick your own see how much the pick your own has made this month it looks like a reasonable supply there might have been an early pickup last time and a late pickup this time so yeah so just under 10 grand there so that's that's good right we just need to top up our greenhouses with compost and water we'd actually run out of compost in the in the main greenhouse And we're probably going to have to top up compost in the in the orchards pretty soon. It's probably in the next month or so. And yeah, we'll just we'll leave it at that for now. this up here put some water into the greenhouses and then we've got them nice and looked after so to speak we can pick up all the what I suppose that we can call our basic production on the farm so our greenhouse um, products and our bakery products and of course we've still got the we should have some pears to pick up as well we've got some eggs to take in I don't think we'll get them all into one one delivery we'll see we must probably got some more soya milk that we can deliver as well so it does take I mean we're really up to we're playing at uh, five times speed but we're already at um, just after one o'clock and we're pretty much just still going through routine so it may be that as we go along and as we start growing we need to change over to maybe three times speed something along those lines just to be able to get through everything that we want to do in a day or maybe go to two day uh, months we'll see as we go along we'll be in January and so we certainly will have to do something like that in the summer months when we'll be, be harvesting um, but right now we can just about manage everything of course I have edited out bits and pieces of our r routine this is basically daily routine so it's something that um, would or if we showed it would uh, would be the same over and over so I tend to just show the the money coming in as I said just to keep you up to date more or less I might forget the odd thing here or there but yeah it's more important to just show that we are producing our goods while we're here we're going to look to where we're going to have to buy in some sugar for the for the vegan milk factory so I thought that there were big bags of sugar that could be bought and I can't find them. I can find the smaller bags. Let's just keep looking through it. It's, no, it's not there. So there's the smaller bags of industrial sugar. But I thought they were... I was probably missing it. But well, it's not a problem. We can buy the... We can buy the pallet loads. So I think we'll get 20 of those. 
I'm not quite sure how much it takes, but I'm sure it'll take 20,000 liters, the, the vegan factory, I would think. Well, you know, in, in, even if we do oversupply, it's not going to go to waste. We will use it over time. So I bought 20 in total. I probably haven't shown 20 going through here, but just to give you the indication that we had to buy a whole lot. We'll have the first 10 delivered to the farm and the second 10 we'll have to collect from the from the store ourselves. But I thought we'd just get some delivered to the farm and um, get them into into the production as quickly as possible. We should have some we need um, sunflower oil as well. And I think that sh I think we did get that production going in the last episode, in the last month. So that should be there should be some of those ready to be delivered as well. Then of course we're going to have to buy in some soya f for for the factory as well. So the inputs um, at this point in time. Sugar is probably going to remain a basic input. Um, I don't see us producing sugar cane at this point in time. We might produce sugar beet. That's actually not a bad idea. But I'll get the soya field going first and then we'll... Uh, we might convert a couple of the wheat fields. See, well, Let's just see how much wheat, we, wheat and barley we get out of these fields. Of course it's going to be a little bit... Um, Oh, it won't be quite a true reflection of what we get because we have the weed problem in a couple of the fields. So, yeah, yeah. Come to think of it, we can produce we can produce our own sugar. We don't have to produce sugar cane. We can we can do it with sugar beet, and that makes that makes perfect sense. It's kind of what you would use to produce sugar in the, a. Um, A European setting as such. We are playing in Euros so this is, although the map is pretty, pretty gener generic, um, we, are, we are playing it as a, a European well as a European map let's put it that way. So that's that done. Yep, yeah, so there are some. I just caught a glimpse of um, sunflower in the in the pressing factory. So we're a little bit short in soya beans. We're okay on water. So we'll bring in some more soya beans somewhere along the line. We'll also need to put in some soya beans into the into the vegan milk factory as well. We're going to need to get some sort of um, pellet loader. I wonder if we how many we can get. We can. Because we've still got to deliver eggs and the bread and the bread and noodles also need to be delivered so we can probably get another load of um, basic product delivered down to the to the town. We really are start, starting to supply the town with uh, quite a bit of product pretty happy with that. Cannot complain about that at all. So I think... Did we do the bread? Can't remember. M must have. I 
any case uh, we'll deliver eggs and uh, yes we did do we did do the bread and and the noodles in the last delivery I think it was we got just about four pellets of eggs so it's a nice stash of eggs we'll put the eggs into our into our farmers market and then we'll take the rest of the soya drinks through to the through to the garden center that's where we're selling them through the garden center we've got a little there uh, an built onto the garden center which sells the soya drink to the town just to spread things around a little bit nearly a full load because we've got 8,000 something so so we've got two 8,000s and a 7,000 so that's not bad for today's pr production so we'll get a young Heinrich one of my favorite uh, forklifts should we get the small one nah We've got the cobblestones there, so we want something with slightly bigger wheels. Here we'll get the teddy fork. How much, what's the top speed of this thing? 10 miles an hour. It's going to take us a little bit of time. We will get it delivered to the farm, but it'll deliver to the front of the farm, so we'll just have to drive that over. While I was there, I just went and picked up the second load of uh, sugar that we bought. It's another 10 pallets. We'll get these into the, the soya milk factory. Oh. It's not delivering. Have I got it on the... Yeah, I've got it on the trailer. I wonder if we've... Uh, we must be full on the sugar. I did say I, I had this... I hadn't checked it and... I bought 20 pallets. It took the first 10, no problem, so... I'm pretty sure that... Let's just check. Yeah, 10,000 litres full. It is full. It's only 10,000 litres of water as well. So it's probably going to be quite slow production. In any case, so we now have a sugar stock, so we're not going to have to worry for sugar for a while. We might even be self-sufficient by the time we... We'll just go and offload the sugar in front of the factory and store it there until as and when needed. But we should put a lean to up for that. We'll we'll work that out later. There's our little young Heinrich we bought. We'll get that up to the to the factory area and go and get the um, the uh, sunflower oil moved over. And then I think after that it'll just be the soya that we need. And we can get the vegan milk production going. We can also start putting apples into the into the pressing plant where we're pressing the sunflower oil at the moment. So we can do apple juice there as well. So we'll probably bring the apple production from the little orchard that we have uh, just behind our shed. Oh, didn't think of that, did I? 
can't get the forklift into the uh, we'll just drag them out and then take them from there the small one it was also also had a high thing in the front so I don't think that would have got in either uh, yeah might have needed to get something like a, um, a telehandler so we might have to trade trade in the, the forklift for a telehandler just to get it in there but we could just drag this out for now I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about that one and get them into the factory yeah I'm quite pleased with the change in production it's just kind of livened up the series for me I hope it has for you as well just changed it up a little bit we'll have to start looking for other bits and pieces to do that um, it'll just keep the the eco farm fresh not quite sure what more is there, there is that we can do there is a um, little a little system electric vehicle system that I'm looking at and as soon as we've got enough money to buy that we'll um, well we'll we'll keep that under wraps just for now We'll get this going we'll get our soya production going and then we'll look at um, adding some more electric vehicles so this young Heinrich is a, uh, an, an electric vehicle so no problem with us utilizing that might have to put a little bit of a charging station up here although it does tend to um, keep its charge for quite a while because it's not used for you know huge distance traveling and it's just used for a couple of pellets every day and once the sh sugar needs to be transferred over we're using auto loaders to to load our product so it's not too much of a problem we'll see we'll see how it goes So we've got 3,000 litres of that in. We'll see how, and how much that lasts, or how long that lasts. We'll just park up now. And then we'll go and get some um, soya beans. Here we go, we'll just load up the soya beans and then the factory will be operational. That's also where we're going to pretty much end this episode. Get into sort of late afternoon. We'll uh, we'll do a little bit of work on the on the soya field. That's just basically making the new fields. We'll we'll show you that in the next couple of episodes as we finish that off. And show you the extent of the mega field that we are making might warrant a, a big harvester when we when we get through there so we might have to plant a plant three trees instead of um, just using the small harvester and, pl and planting one go for a big harvester plant a couple of extra trees but that's a little way away a couple of months away I think we're about two months from planting when we're now January February I think April I think we plant and then we harvest in September I think Som somewhere around there I'm just trying to think of fan but it's probably way out right let's get everything operational so we've got everything there we've got oats, sunflower, water, soya beans we've just 
just put soybeans in. Oh no, we're doing oat milk. Oh, we'll get the soy in at a later stage. In any case, that's where we're going to end this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio!